Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use and install MyPlot. This plugin allows you to generate plot worlds where you can claim them and build within them. This is a plugin for the Bedrock version of Minecraft, however, please ensure that you are running the PocketMine server type. To install the plugin, head over to the link in the description, which will open up this page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Then right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can download it straight over to your server pro panel. Find your way into the plugins folder on your panel, press the upload file button here and then upload from the web here. Paste the link you just copied and press the upload button. The plugin should automatically download for you. All you have to do now is restart your server and you're ready to go. To see all the commands, you can type in slash plot help and then the page number. And I'll show you all the commands available. Let's actually generate the plot world. To do this, type in slash plot generate and then the name of the world. To actually go to that world, you'll need another plugin to teleport there. You can use a plugin called Worlds, which we have a tutorial for, and I'll link that in the description. If you just want one world, which is just a plots world, you can set it as a default world. And to do this, just go over to your server.properties file and change the world name there to whatever you want. In this case, I set it to the My Plots world. Now restart your server and then log back in and you'll find yourself in the world that you set. Of course, you are able to change the size of the plots and what they look like in the config file. For example, you can change this road here to dark oak instead of oak. This is all done in the config, which I'll show you an overview of later. Let's actually claim a plot. To do this, type in slash plot claim while standing inside the plot you want to claim. If you have an, an economy plugin and you set it up correctly, you can actually make players pay for plots. Now, once you've claimed the plot, you can build in it and do whatever you want in it. If you want to unclaim or dispose of a plot, you can type in slash plot dispose and then confirm that you want to dispose of the plot. This will make the plot free again for anyone to claim, but it won't remove any of the builds you've made inside it. So let's actually claim the plot back and change the name of it. To do this, just type in slash plot name and then whatever you want to name the plot while standing inside the plot. Let's say you want to add players to your plot so that they can help you build. Type slash plot add helper and then their username. You must make sure that you're standing inside the plot you want these commands to take effect in. If you decide that you don't want to give them access anymore and you want to remove the helper, just type in slash plot remove helper and then their username. You can also completely deny players from accessing your plot. This means that they won't be able to even go inside it. To do this, just type in slash plot deny and then the player username. If you want to get some information about the plot, you can do this by using the command slash plot info. Okay, let's say I have multiple plots and I want to check out what they all are. You can do this with the slash plot list command, which will bring up that actual list. Now, every time you actually create a plot, a home point is also created. To see that list, just type in slash plot homes and then to actually teleport to a home, just type in slash plot home and then the plot number from the list you want to teleport to. To clear your plot from all the things you've built, just type in slash plot clear while standing inside the plot you want to clear. This will take some time. However, if you want to clear the plot and unclaim it at the same time, type in slash plot reset. There are many other commands for this plugin and if you want to know what they are, I'll leave a link to the plugin wiki in the description. Let's quickly go over the config and see what we can change. Locate the config.yml file under the plugin data folder. In here, you can change things like language and enable the customization of messages for the actual plugin. You can also use MySQL if you wish. You can enable economy if you have the plugin for it. And lower here, you can actually set the prices. The show plot pop-up option is the text that appears above the hotbar whenever you enter a plot. These options here are some world options you can change. For example, you can disable entity movement within a plot. At the bottom here, you have the main options to actually customize the plot. Let's say you want to change the size or the look of it. The comments in this config explain everything very easily, but if you need more information, make sure you do check out the wiki. 
If you want to make some changes per world, you can actually do that and it's done in these configs here. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.